Oh, yeah. 
suffering any man imitation of thee so that my mayest count me worthy to be among the wise virgins those who dance with thee in thy bridal chamber therefore venerable passion bear as we honor 
the struggle of thy labors we entreat thee. Pray that we not find the doors of the bridal chamber locked to us. For your holy our God, and give your glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and tone to the Lord is my strength and my song he has become my salvation has chastened me sorely, but he has not given me over to death. The Lord is my strength and my soul. He has become my salvation, my salvation. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has The reading is from the Act of the Holy Apostle Paul to the Romans. Brethren, having been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom also we have access by faith into this grace in which we stand and rejoice in the hope of the glory of God. And not only that, but we glory in tribulations also, knowing that tribulation produces patience and patience, experience and experience, hope and hope does not disappoint us because the love of God is poured out into our hearts by the Holy Spirit who is given to us. For when we were yet without strength, in due time Christ died for the ungodly. For scarcely for a righteous man will one die, yet perhaps for a good man someone would even dare to die. But God demonstrates his own love towards us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us much more than being now justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. 
For if when we were enemies, we were reconciled to God through the death of his son, much more, having been reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. And with your spirit. May the Lord hear thee in the day of trouble. May the name of God of Jacob protect thee. Save the King, O Lord, and hear us on the day we call. Your eyes blind, 
darkness, darkness, how deep that darkness will be. No one can serve two masters, for either he will hate one and love the other, or he will stand by one and despise the other. You cannot serve God, both God and mammon. Therefore I say to you, do not worry about that you will eat or what you will drink to support your life, nor about what you will wear to protect your body. Surely life is more important than food, and the body more important than clothing. Look at the birds of the sky, they do not sow or reap, or store their foods and farms, yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not more important than they? Which one of you can, sit, can add a single cubit to his life span by worrying about it? Why do you worry about clothing? See how the lilies of the field grow. They do not toil or spin. Yet I tell you that even Solomon in all his glory was never dressed like one of them. Now if God so clothes the grass of the fields which blooms today and is thrown into the furnace tomorrow, then he will much more talk, much more clothe you. O oh, men of little faith, therefore do not worry and ask what shall we eat or what shall we drink or what shall we wear, for the pagans seek all these things. Moreover, your Father in heaven knows that you need them. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. For then you will have all these things, all these other things besides. lives of those who perish in the war rush against Ukraine. Today is day 487 of that war and genocide. Приймай давайте шануємо холодне мовчання, життя всіх тих, хто загинули в війні Росії проти України. Сьогодні вже є 487 день цієї війни і геноциду. You may have a seat for this time. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Slava Jesus Christ, glory to Jesus Christ. <coughs> Last two Sundays, we were commemorating and celebrating our saints. First on the universal level, and then on national Ukrainian level as well. We were also learning what it takes to become a saint in this world. During that time, we were talked about certain spiritual qualities and predispositions that could sanctify a person by the grace of God. In particular, these qualities are confessing Christ openly, loving Him supremely, taking up our life process and following Him steadfastly. These are the sacred steps by which all the saints ascended to heaven and by which we too must try to ascend if heaven is our desired destination because nothing unholy will ever enter in, the Holy Scripture tells us. But how do we start this intense spiritual journey what pitfalls we should be aware of 
and avoid at all costs on this road of spiritual simplification. In today's Gospel, the Holy Orthodox Church, through the voice of our beloved Lord, provides answers to these questions as she tries to nudge us in the right direction and warn us of the dangers on our road to simplification. And first, what we have to learn on this blessed road is the skill of keeping our eyes clean and full of God's light. Those of us who visited monasteries and tried to talk to monks and nuns probably noticed that they almost never look up and try to make eye contact when you talk to them. This conduct is especially noticeable when a monastic person is of the opposite gender. I don't know about you, but at first I thought they were bad-mannered, until I realized that it was part of their spiritual struggle to keep their eye clean from worldly distractions and pollutions. After all, science tells us that about 80% of all information that comes into us, into our mind, comes through our sight, through our vision. So keeping our eyes clean is a major spiritual task, especially considering the imagery we have been bombarded with these last few years. I think we all know what I'm talking about. It's still going on, probably as we speak, somewhere on the street, main street of the city. It's very easy to fall prey to all that darkness accepted it, accepted as normal, everyday occurrence and scenery, and lose the ability to see what is happening and who stands behind all that nastiness and wickedness. And if we can't see, then truly darkness is overwhelming in our heart. But simple avoidance of external distractions might not be enough, for the devil will try to bring them from within us, from our memories and imagination. In order to deal with this, the saint tell, the saints tells us to engage our inner eye or holy perception. This God-given inner eye is a filter that filtrates all that comes into our heart and soul. This inner eye is what enables us to see and perceive truth even when the devil tries to subvert it. This inner eye reminds us of the fear of God, but also tells us always to remember that God loves us and is ready to help us to deal with the darkness of this world if we let him. The next task we should do on our road to sanctification and heaven is the task of setting our priorities where God is at the center of our life. That's why we hear today about the necessity and importance of balancing our lives in such a way that while we are caring for our physical needs, we never break the thread that connects us to our Heavenly Father, who knows better than we do what we really need. There is a true story about one young man whose life's dream was to become a Navy SEAL. He desperately wanted it and looked for every chance to get enrolled in this elite program, in this elite group of people, not even in the United States, but probably around the world. The best of the best. As a result, only a few can be accepted through the process of vigorous testing and training to this program. But this man was I would say, focused on this dream. One of the major tests of, of this becoming a Navy SEAL is 
swimming, as you can imagine. One day, this young man learned that Navy SEALs started their recruitment process. So he went to the testing place, waited his turn, jumped into a pool, and began to walk underwater. He went one lap in back. The crowd and the testing officer were in awe and shock, seeing men walking under the water. When the man completed the test, popped up his head from beneath the water and grasped before his breath as the recruiting officer, did I pass? The officer, still in awe, asked him why he didn't swim like others. To which the young recruit replied, I do not know how to swim, but did I pass? Officer waited for a second, trying to grasp his mind around what just happened, and said, yes, you passed. Later, that officer was asked why he led this man through and admitted him to this program to become a Navy SEAL. The officer said that teaching someone to swim is one of the easiest tasks, but desire, effort, and determination comes from within a person. That is something you cannot teach. That is something that could turn any person into a great warrior of the Navy SEALs. These past two Sundays, we've been invited to become spiritual <coughs> Navy SEALs. We've been also reminded that the seed of eternal life and ability to sanctification is inside each and every one of us. We just need to show our desire, effort, and determination. God will teach us and provide the rest. He loves us more than we can imagine. Therefore, let's reignite this holy desire in our hearts. Let's try to avoid the darkness of this world by carefully using our physical and mental sight. Let's make the Lord Jesus Christ our first, only, and most important master in life. Let's seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness, for only then our Heavenly Father will add all that is needful for our earthly life and fill our souls to the, with his divine love, life, and light, beginning here and now, and all the way to the brain in his eternal heavenly kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, the Trinity, one in essence and undivided. Amen. Glory to Jesus Christ. Slava Jesus Christ.
Oh. 
Благодай, Господа наш Иисуса Христа, и любого Бога и Отца, и причастие Святого Духа, нехай будет у сими
предыдущие и ведущие активности и связи твоим Богом, на самое царство небес, покупай на тебе, не на всю добу воду, я приносил в ответе турецкую службу за вирусство через пророки и всех патриархов, после проповедники, болтистики, мучистики, споведники, постики, за всяку душу правду и почину. Особливо на Пресвяту Пречисто Преблагословену, Славу Владичите нашу Богородичу и Средиву Марию.
confess that thou art truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am first. I believe also that this is truly thy own pure body, and this is truly thy own precious blood. Therefore I pray thee, and mercy upon me, and forgive my transgressions, for voluntary and involuntary, of word and of deed, of knowledge and of ignorance, and make me worthy to partake without condemnation of my most spirit mysteries, for the remission of my sins, and unto life eternal. Amen. Of thy mystical supper, O Son of God, accept me today as a communion, for I will not speak of my mysteries to my enemies, neither like you, thus so I give thee a kiss, but like a thief, for I confess thee. Remember me, O Lord, in thy kingdom. May the communion of thy holy mysteries be neither to my judgment nor to my condemnation, O Lord, but to the healing of soul and mind. <coughs> Oh. 
In the fear of God, the face of the Father mirrors his struggle more than beautiful your crystal beaters. <laughs>
comes to church, wherever you are, embroider the Ukrainian um, outfits. That would be wonderful. So it's September 7th. Now, the Ukrainian entire suite of the system is not to the same. I think much that the Russian was not common, 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 the за те, що ви пожертвували для нашої парафії і для наших бійців, наших героїв там на Україні. Сестриці вже закупляють необхідні речі, будуть відправляти нашим хлопцям на фронт з тих грошей, що ви заробили. Померла наша добра партіянка Елизабет Чорпек, і сьогодні зранку, ось і зранку, ось приблизно, покоїлися Господі з Карлсом охоронний будинок буде. Будете похорон, зайдіть на їхній вперше сторінку, подивіться, коли це буде. Це буде серед тижня, чи не знаю, як я зможу це оголосити, але подивіться на Харсон, ти на мову вебсайт. І сьогодні ми маємо панахиду за блаженній пам'яті Софію Савченко, маму нашого Сергія Савченко, який є тут з нами, 5 років ми скучили в господі. Якщо хочете взяти участь у цій панахиді, залишіться після цивування Христа. Ми помолимося за їх вже з боку. І 17 березня, будь ласка, значте на ваших мудрих телефонах, в ваших календарях, що ми маємо будемо святкувати наше храмове свято, наші владики приїжджають. Так що давайте зберемося, помолимося разом, поспілкуємося з ними, покажемо, що ми їх любимо, і що ми нас завдати завжди молиться кожні дитинки. Що 17 числа приходіть в ваших вишиванках, це без, це багато часу, але майже це на увазі. Тоді все, що ми прийти, і буде доступувати наші храмні свята. Це є дізоровний анонсмент, з передплесенням голові Аркон Голові, нехай Боже благословення буде зі всіма вами. So let's stand it and sing your quiet. May God grant the servant of God, honor me, help me take this from any war you have here. Come on, I am before I am here.
Молись за спаси 
Oh, <laughs> 